As some of you know, I've been going from being a mobile car cleaner into this permanent detailing studio. And the good thing about that is it means I no longer need to carry loads of tools and equipment with me. So it gave me the opportunity to get my hands on something that I've been dying to get hold of for so many years. And that is an air compressor. And I've been using them for as long as I can remember. And I've even owned some cheaper, smaller models in the past, but they've never quite struck the mark with me. However, with this from Hyundai, this particular model looks like a different animal. So I'm looking forward to exploring some of its features to see how it can benefit my business. This Hyundai 50 liter air compressor delivers a maximum pressure of 116 PSI with a flow rate of 14 cubic feet per minute. It's powered by a three horsepower motor, making it easily capable enough to handle those tough jobs. You also have enough air supply to run multiple tools or maintain consistent air pressure, making it an excellent tool for detailing. You also get a five piece kit, which includes a blow gun, a tire inflating gun, a spray gun for your paint, a degreaser and a five meter hose. On the Hyundai Power Products website, they have plenty of different air compressors to choose from. So I needed to find something that was portable enough to move around the unit, but I needed something powerful enough to run multiple detailing tools with. Right, so let's begin with the build quality. And as you could probably see with your own eyes, this Hyundai air compressor looks like a solid piece of kit. And it reminds me of the sort of thing you might find on the front of Vin Diesel's car. I mean, the size of this machine for a portable unit, I mean, at 45 kilograms, it's not going to be the lightest thing. And I think they are taking this machine very seriously because there's an abundance of danger and warning signs on it. The whole compressor feels sturdy and moving it around on the wheels is no problem. But if you are somebody who needs to move it from one location to another, then you may be better off with something smaller. But seriously, it depends on your circumstances. For me, however, this is a perfect time to have one because my mobile valeting is at its end. And now because I've got my studio set up for filming, it means I'm always having to move equipment and lighting around. So I didn't think a larger unit would be necessary. Also, when you switch it on, it's going to take you about a minute and a half to fill it up completely with air. Before you get too excited and switch it on, it's essential you carefully connect the air filters, remove the rubber plugs and attach the wheels. And thankfully, Hyundai already have videos on how to put it all together, which I'll put links in the description below. Okay, so everything's all connected up. It's all been checked over. We're now gonna do a test run, which is what they recommend. So we're first of all gonna switch the power in the off position. Yep, we've done that. Check the oil level is in the red circle. Yes, plug in the power. Yep, start the air compressor by turning on the switch into the on position. The pressure gorge reading will slowly rise as the pressure increases inside the air tank. When the gorge reading reaches working pressure, it will switch off automatically. This indicates that the compressor is working normally. I've had a good idea actually. Just while I'm having a little play here, I've noticed I've got my vented tiles down here on the floor. And most detailers are probably gonna have that as well in their studios. So here's my idea, because there's only so much a hoover can pick up when you've got bits of dirt that get trapped underneath them. But with these, I've just started blowing it under here. And it's just blasting it all out. This might be a good alternative for cleaning underneath these tiles, you know. Whoa. Apart from the mild heart attack, I was absolutely thrilled by my compressor and I was eager to try out some of its features. The first experiment I'm carrying out is on this removable floor mat and I wanted to see how much of the dirt the air compressor could remove on its own. And although it didn't remove all the dried mud, we have an alternative method which you will see later on in the video, which really does change the way you think about interior cleaning. So what we have here is one dirty door card. It's got the usual bits of crumbs and filth in the pockets. So we're first of all gonna blast it out with this tool. After that, we're gonna to resort to using one of these, which is just a degreaser cannon. Now, all we're gonna use for this is a tiny amount of APC. The rest of it is going to be water. We're then gonna spray the entire door card, including the fabric. We're gonna leave out the speaker, obviously, because we don't wanna damage it. And then we're gonna wipe it up with a microfiber cloth. That's all we're going to do. We're gonna do nothing else. If there's any bits of dirt that is ingrained, we're then gonna hold the cannon over it just for a little bit longer, just to see whether it can blast it out and just see whether the chemical actually does its job as well. Right, so all I'm gonna do is make an utter mess in my lovely unit but here we go. <laughs> 
So we have one fully blasted door. We're now gonna change the air cannon and we're going to put the chemical one on, the degreaser. And all we're just gonna do is give it a quick spray. We're not gonna be going too mad here. Like I said, I'm gonna ignore the speaker completely. And you do have to be careful with the electrics, but as I do have an air compressor, I'm gonna blast it out straight away afterwards. So hopefully we're not gonna have any problems. So this does look quite excessive, but honestly, this chemical gun may have its place as an interior detailing tool. And in a few weeks, I look forward to trying out the Tornador. <laughs> look at it. Actually looks pretty good to be fair. Now this is quite a good alternative for those of you who don't have scrub pads or you don't have any drill brushes. Of course, it's not gonna be as cost effective as getting them because they cost merely a couple of quid. However, I have to say, just looking at the door now, it looks pretty damn good. This was definitely a real plus point for the Hyundai and that got me thinking. So I just wanna have a quick look at this again. I'm really satisfied with this, seriously. When you look at the door cards, I still can't get over how good that is. So I'm thinking now, do I do something different? Do I have a go at the seats as well and see what I can do? Or is there anything else I can use this air compressor on in the car? Let's find out. So I think what I'd like to do now is take this mat and we're gonna use exactly the same method that we've just done on the door card here. And I just wanna see how far I can push it because with the other mat, we just used the air gun and that was it. And you could see there was still bits of muck which was ingrained into the carpet. However, with this one, if we use a degreaser, I'm pretty confident that we're gonna be able to get some good results here. Just for the record here, I don't normally use APC for my fabric, but this is a dirty demo car, so it gives me freedom to explore all the possibilities. And if you want to know more about APC, I made a video on the latest arrival from Autoglim, and I'll put a link in the description below. So this is the final result from that one where we used the chemical, and this is the one that we did earlier on when we were just using the air compressor on its own with no chemicals. So it just shows you how much better you can get a performance just from using an APC or using an interior cleaner or fabric cleaner or whatever you decide, but just by introducing that with the degreasing gun, you can make a heck of an impact. Right, so I just want to point Point out that this is not how I would normally go about cleaning seats. However, in the interest of science, this is how I'm gonna do it today. This could be a genius way of cleaning your fabric seats. However, I don't personally know myself. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is lightly apply some of this APC in my little teapot. The worst of it seems to have gone. It's amazing what the compressor can do on its own. There's only one key area here where I'm gonna to need to be going extra strong with some of the chemical and the air. So. I'm really excited to see how this goes, so I'm just gonna get on with it. Love that. Once I'd soaked the seat, I decided to use my wet vac just to get it as dry as possible. But once I finished, I was left speechless. I mean, just look at that. That took merely a few seconds, like not even 20 seconds, just to use the air compressor and then follow it up with a wet vac. And now my seats, I mean, look at it. Absolutely brilliant. So this is something quite interesting to think about because with my wet extractor, I've got the rug doctor down there, but the one that I'm using today is the Charles. He's king, by the way. And I haven't got a trigger on that. So it means I can't squirt any of the chemicals out onto the fabric, but with the air compressor, it gave me another option. And it's just something to think about because if you don't have an extractor that squirts out any chemicals, then at least you could use one of them or even still you could just use a trigger anyway. But the fact that this uses the chemical with the compressed air combined, it gave you a bit more cleaning power. And I think that's why we've got absolutely stunning seats over there because I think this is generally working really well. Do you know what? I'm feeling ambitious. So. I'm just gonna say to hell with the rule book and I'm just gonna spray everything in sight and just see what happens. I mean, look at it. Can it possibly get any worse than this? So I've given it a wipe. I'm just gonna blast away the last of the residue and then we'll see what we're left with. It's got in all the little crevices. 
and it's done a fairly good job. So I'm sure some of you might be wondering why on earth I never got myself an air compressor and to be honest with you, there were several reasons. Number one, I didn't really have a big enough van. And number two, I didn't really carry out many deep cleans anymore. My business went from doing all the disaster details back when I started to simplifying the process. So then we got on doing the supercars and we just mainly took care of the cars which didn't really need a clean. However, things are different now because I have my own detailing studio. So it totally makes sense that I have one constantly based here. This was a great test for me because the compressor certainly lived up to my expectations, but I'd definitely be interested to see how good their super silent compressors are in the near future. And if you're somebody who's new to car cleaning and you want to watch more tools suitable for beginners, then I have the video waiting for you right here.